Hi sir, for my CSS presentation, since there is only one page required and there is a time limit in this video, I will only choose to present and explain the code for the project portfolio page and its CSS. Before I start explaining my CSS, I'd like to mention that I also use SAS or the or SCSS, which is some sort of an extension for CSS. It offers better workflows for maintaining style sheets. Most of the code I've written and worked with are in the .scss files, and the other CSS files are there for mapping the styles. SCSS is very much similar to CSS, although some of the syntax slightly differ to other to offer better workflow. An example of this would be here where classes inside a division can be easily coded by nesting it within the outer class. I'd also like to, s to say a quick disclaimer that all the images in the website are just temporary placeholders and they are from other talented artists. And the source can be found by clicking the elements in the website. Now, here's the first part of the CSS code. Some notable features here is the import URL, which imported the font that I used for my website. This block of code styles the navigation bar as can be seen at the top part and the other notable features here include this block of code which changes the styles for the name logo here whenever the mouse cursor hovers on that part then here it can be seen that i use an unlisted list to create the navigation buttons then another hover effect is coded here for the navigation buttons now going deeper to my css codes here this dot division title here styles each of the division title. An example here would be the software project's title as can be seen in the top part of the website. And then here, this block of code corresponds to the images and text for my software projects. Some notable features here is the box shadow for the image. Then we got here some styles for the container of each of the text. Then we got here the styles for the details in the project. Next, furthermore, in the CSS code, this block of code styles the art projects part of the website. Here, it has an outer body container. Some more of the relevant and significant features here are there's an inner container which uses a display of a grid. Then here, there are styles for the square tiles for each of the image in the grid. Then next, over here are the styles for each of the image in each square tile. It can be noticed that there's a, there's a transition effect for the hover effect. Then going deeper in the CSS codes, in here there is an hover effect when the cursor hovers an image. The image of the artwork fades away and the text appears clear. The rest of the code are pretty much straightforward here where they just style the rest of the elements. Now going further inside the code, here we can see this block of code where the nth child selector is used multiple times. The nth child selector is used in the grid display when most of the elements are repeating and that they share the same class. This nth child selector allows each of the elements to be specifically styled depending on the sequence of the corresponding element in the HTML code. Then going further more in the code, here we can see the last part inside the CSS code which contains just a style for the h3 tag in the details class. This part of the code just styles the last elements in the website which are some projects in progress which contain some header text and paragraph texts.